it's Fran Harris with another question of the day in three, two, and go. How do I break bad relationship patterns? How do I break bad relationship patterns? If you've lived long enough, if you've been in enough relationships, you will run into that one person who you're just like, how in the uh, did I get here? And I've got the answer to that question for you. So the first thing you have to do is to recognize what the pattern is. Who do you keep attracting? Now let's, uh, let's talk about the law of attraction just for one second. If you haven't heard a lot about the law of attraction, that's not what this video is all about, but you do want to do some studying on the law of attraction because I'm going to simplify this and you might want to get a more extensive definition of it. But the law of attraction just is simply saying that what you put out into the world, you ultimately receive. So think about it this way. Think about your life as a bowl of milk. Just hang with me for a second. It's a bowl of milk. Every day you put out a bowl of milk on your front porch. Now, you put out this bowl of milk because you want to help the stray cats. You want to help the stray dogs. You want to do something good. You, your intentions are great when you put out this little saucer of milk. You want good things to happen. But what inevitably happens is that not only do you get the sweet and gentle pets who come by and are very appreciative of the bowl of milk that you put out on your porch, but you also get some snakes and some bad dogs and some bad cats. You get some riffraff. I mean, that's the best way to put it. You're going to get some riffraff. Even though your intentions may be pure and golden, you're still going to get some riffraff. You're still going to get some folks who you just don't want to deal with. So you have to be careful with what you put out into the world. You've got to be careful about the energy that you put into the world. Think of your saucer of milk as your energy field, your energy force. Even though your intentions may be to, for this to be just a grand expression of your generosity, you are going to attract some rift raft. So you have to be good at discerning when you're getting the golden slice of life, the good dogs, the good cats, the good animals who are coming by to take a, a sip of your saucer, and the riffraff. You've got to be able to discern that. And the only way you're going to be able to distinguish the, the good, what I call the good good from the riffraff, is if you've done some personal work. Now, You've done some personal spiritual work. You've done some personal development work. That's the only way you're going to be able to distinguish from those two groups of people. So if you haven't done any work, my recommendation is that you get some therapy. Yep, get some therapy, get some spiritual equipping so that you will know and be able to discern in the spirits of the people that you're attracting, whether that's business or personal, whether they fit into the good category of folks or whether they are straight up riff raft. I'm Fran Harris. Until next time, go out there, make your move, make your mark, and of course, make your difference. See you next time.